cases, Mike and Susan, it's almost like a, um, a minimum, uh, like a hurricane in the wintertime. And I say that only because, as you mentioned, we're talking about uh, coastal flooding. Now, this is for East Coastal Massachusetts only. It's not for the Southern Rhode Island coastline, uh, but hurricane like coastal flooding possible on East Coastal Massachusetts. Hurricane force wind gusts later tonight, and that would include our South Shore. Uh, of course, on top of that, uh, all the heavy snow, but this is where the flood warning is and we may be talking major flooding from uh, the North Shore of Boston, uh, Plymouth County, Massachusetts, Situate Mass down through Cape Cod, the coastal flood warning and as mentioned uh, with Situate with some partial evacuations. Now our South Shore has what is called the coastal flood advisory uh, in a nutshell. And I know folks along the South Shore are very concerned after what we went through with Sandy. I guess the good news is that we're not anticipating a surge like Sandy, but you will get uh, beach erosion, some pretty big surf, some pretty big waves, and unfortunately, very, very strong wind. If we get hurricane force winds, it'll be along the coastline and just offshore. That'll be realized uh, tonight. I'm thinking winds anywhere between 65 to 75 miles per hour uh, in gusts, uh, along with uh, the very heavy snow, and that'll be the bona fide blizzard conditions. The area of low pressure, the storm now, is off the New Jersey coastline. It's intensifying rapidly. A couple of signatures on the radar tell us that. Well, for one, we're getting lightning strikes around uh, the storm center itself. Don't be surprised when it's snowing, you hear the clap of thunder. Thunder snow doesn't happen often, but when you get an intense cyclone, it does happen. It means the snow's coming down very hard. You see kind of this curved band, and the shape of the radar uh, tells us a lot. And this little curved band right in here uh, tells us that the storm is getting intense, that kind of curvature. Also, these colors of uh, yellow, orange, and darker green is showing us that the storm is getting strong. This is the band of very heavy precipitation that will be coming through this evening and overnight, and that's when we'll see the snow really come down hard, the winds picking up, and the all-out uh, bona fide, unfortunately, blizzard conditions. So in some communities, uh, the snow measured not so much uh, in inches, but in feet. Uh, especially in some of our northern suburbs. Now, snowfall totals are coming in. I mean, each hour they've been going up and up and up. Uh, West Greenwich, three. Coventry, three. Gloucester at three. West, Western Cranston, two and a half. Uh, Carolina, two. South Kingstown, an inch. I got a report on my Facebook page of about an inch, uh, almost two inches uh, in Woonsocket as well. And these numbers will continue to go up. Downtown Providence now with poor visibility and moderate snow. Temperatures are around the freezing mark but they'll actually go down rather than up. So if there's ever a brief mixture of sleet or rain on the South Shore, it wouldn't last very long. It'd go back over to all snow. Of course, the blizzard warning in effect for the entire area due to reduced visibility. And in some cases, we're talking visibility that's reduced to only, you know, several dozen yards rather than miles along with blowing and drifting snow. And again, this, at this green area is the coastal flood advisory for the South Shore minor splash over at high tide, but nothing like what Sandy brought. So as far as the, the storm itself and the headlines, the intensity keeps picking up hour by hour. As we said all along, the brunt of this storm is this evening tonight through early tomorrow morning. It does linger into early Saturday morning. Uh, I know I know if the kids want to go sledding, I know my son can't wait to go sledding. It will not happen tomorrow morning because the winds will still be exceptionally strong. And that, you know, that concerns me because tomorrow morning you're going to wake up in some communities. You're going to see tree lines and uh, power lines that are sagging in the weight of the snow uh, with still with some very strong wind. So both could come down. So, you know, neighborhood kids want to be outside playing. Uh, it's not the time to do that during the morning. Also want to send out a note to some of the uh, some of the private plow operators who don't necessarily plow the highways, but rather the neighborhood streets. Be aware that when you're going through some of these neighborhood streets, there may be lines that are down on the road or, or limbs that are down as well. So I want you to be careful. Be aware that uh, that that situation uh, may be unfolding early in the morning. Everything does wind down, though, by early Saturday afternoon and especially Saturday night. We'll take another look at the accumulation map in just a second, but generally statewide, we're looking at uh, one to two feet of snow, locally higher amounts uh, in our northern suburbs. This is an evolving storm. It, it keeps changing hour by hour, not so much the forecast, but the conditions and why you want to come back and check with us again for our next weather segment as far as snowfall accumulations and wind speeds. So still a lot to cover. We'll come back in a few minutes. All right, Terry, we'll talk to you in just